Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. As you can tell, I'm currently back at my hotel and for my continued coverage of CES 2020, let's talk AMD's just announced Radeon RX 5600 XT and their behemoth of a 64 core CPU. But first, I want to thank Micro Center for sponsoring our trip to CES this year. Micro Center is the hardware lover's paradise because not only do they have some of the best deals in the industry, but they actually have local stores all around the country. And I'm really excited about this sponsorship because Micro Center is where I got the parts for my first build. So make sure to check them out in the description below. Okay, so first up is AMD's Radeon RX 5600 XT. And as far as specs, it's about what was leaked, except with a bend. For starters, it comes with 36 compute units, a game clock of 1375 MHz, and a boost of 1560 MHz. Now, it doesn't mention the base clock, but from the leaks, it's 1130 MHz. And finally, it does come with 6 GB of GDDR6. Now, I sound a little bit aggravated just because the 5500 XT comes with up to 8. Now, like we've discussed in the past, it is basically a 5700 non-XT model, but just has lower clocks, so it's been binned. But at the same time, it is slightly annoying. Now, AMD did get to show us some performance summers, but of course, always take these with a grain of salt. We wanna wait for third-party reviews to come out. But regardless, they are pinning it up against NVIDIA's GTX 1660 Ti, and it honestly does really well. Of course, these are hand-selected games. So like I said, we do want third-party reviews, but it gets up to right around 26% faster, which is a big deal. Now, the one thing that I was really waiting for was the price. And unlike what a lot of people thought, with it being at $300, it's actually at $279, which I do think, as long as the performance does pretty well across the board against the 1660 Ti, or not even pretty well, just matches it and even loses from time to time, it does seem like it's going to be a great buy. With that said, it does depend on what OEM partners sell it for. Either way, it does sound like a pretty good deal and definitely is good against NVIDIA's GPU, although at the same time they are competing against something that's quite a bit older, so it kind of still feels a bit like a disappointment, but not really because it's also doing really, really well against it. Either way, it comes out January 21st. Next up, we have the 64 core, 128 thread, behemoth of a CPU, AMD's third gen Ryzen Threadripper 3990X. As far as its specs, we got an unbelievable 2.9 gigahertz, and you're probably thinking, uh, 2.9 gigahertz, that's not good. Yeah, this is 64 cores, everyone. It also comes with a boost of 4.3 gigahertz, but the biggest part here is the price. It's only $3,990. Of course, I can't afford that and you probably can't either, but it's, it's not exactly aimed at just the average consumer. This is definitely made for business, definitely made for workstation. And while it still sounds really expensive, let's compare it to Intel's, which is exactly what AMD did. They compared it to a dual Xeon Platinum 8280, which if we buy both those CPU, we are really looking at 20 thousand dollars and at least according to amd's own comparison on v-ray it got 30 percent better performance which really once again is impressive but once again we absolutely want to wait for third-party reviews we want to be able to see way more benchmarks than this i mean it's just a fact but at the same time this gives great hope we're talking about four thousand dollars versus twenty thousand dollars oh yeah and the twenty thousand dollars loses Finally, the 3990X comes out February 7th, so it's right around the corner. Let's just say I'm excited. So while that does it for today, before I go, I have an interview with AMD coming up on Thursday, and I thought it'd be really cool if I asked everyone what you wanted to know about AMD's newest products so I can bring your questions to them. Because let's be honest, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So leave those down in the comments below. And as always, have a great day.